I'm John Toll, I'm the CTO for Europe and IPsoft. We work with automation using artificial intelligence and autonomics to re remove the mundane chores of everyday life. From a Nordic perspective, or at least from the experience I had, remembering you know, when you, when you were, were a youth and you can go to your local bank and you really had that loyalty towards the bank and they towards you. However, when we are shutting down the retail offices and maybe we're having this more centralized approach, there is a positive way that by using one banking with conversational AI, you can actually go back to having the same kind of a strong bond between the bank and its customer by using digital co-workers instead of using retail branches and offices. The version I'm using here has been tailored for American banking. But of course, that can be adopted for using like a SEPA and SWIFT payment as we have here in Europe. So in this case here, we have the One Bank app. And on the left side here, we have uh, a nifty way of getting to shortcuts in terms of doing your banking like you do in, in a typical app. But we also have laid on top of the app the conversational agent, the One Banking personal banker. So for example here, if, if I, something which happens all the time, not too convenient often, but you know, when you lost your credit card. I lost my credit card. And Amelia goes back and determines what kind of cards I have. So I have a couple of cards here. And I think this is the World Elite Travel Platinum card, which I actually is lost. And you can see here that we don't show the full card number has been not allowed according to PCI compliance. So we show the last four digits of it. So when did you notice the card missing? Yesterday at the bar maybe. And the good thing with the process we have created now is that we also can go back and check what are the transactions that were made that specific day. So you can really get, without really looking into your transactions, seeing a great glimpse of the cards, you say, okay, are those the cards that I made or are there some fraudulent uh, transaction made on your card? But in this case, it's like, sometimes it's happened, I actually lose my card and I actually found it again somewhere. So I say, uh, cancel. Uh, I actually found my card. The good thing with that one is that she doesn't Im immediately cancel your request and uh, she really asked me whether, you know, if I still want to replace it, just to be sure, no. So I don't want to do that. She really confirms that she understood what I was talking about. And now it gets back to me asking, sorry, okay, can I, is there anything else I can help you with? So that's a very natural conversation on how you can do banking with your credit cards. So in, in some sense, it's like going back to the old days where you had your, your, your very personal, direct relationship but delivered in a new modern fashion.